Hey guys, it's Tyler from Peregrine, and today is Christmas. The nights have been long and cold, and we're definitely looking for something to keep us warm, so we're kicking it old school with a classic German mulled wine recipe. Feuer sagen bowl. 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 Literally meaning fire tongs punch. Let's get going. Feuer Sagenbole, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, is a, a traditional sort of uh, mulled wine recipe that's usually made around the holidays, but it's also uh, very popular with, with fraternities. Uh, it's said to create a sense of Gemuklichkeit, <laughs> or warmth, you know, fraternity, all of these things that Germans are incredibly well known for. It's also a little bit dangerous to prepare, so be sure to have someone on hand who is uh, more responsible than you are and has a fire extinguisher, and you'll be all good to go. Let's get going. So this is something that you would definitely usually prepare uh, over an afternoon with the wine slowly simmering with the spices and infusing with all those flavors. Uh, for speed and simplicity, we've gone ahead and prepared some ahead of time, so we've got it all in here. Uh, picking a wine for this one is pretty straightforward. You definitely want a drier wine and one that's mid-ranged. You are gonna lose a lot of the complex flavors that you might get from a nicer wine, but you also definitely don't want something that you wouldn't drink on its own. So once we're ready, we can put our heat-proof container on our burner and set it to low and then we can start with our flame component. This is arguably the easiest part. Uh, to start, you're gonna wanna grab a heat-proof container, definitely one with a handle, because this whole thing is gonna be essentially on fire and you don't wanna burn yourself. And your rum, we're gonna use Lamb's 151, but any rum or alcohol for that matter, over 54% uh, will burn readily, so you can use that instead. And we're just gonna pour a little bit out into our container. And on the sugar side, if you were a traditionalist diehard, you could definitely go out and try to find one of the traditional zucca hoots or uh, sugar loaves. They're about this tall and it's just sugar formed into a shape. But unfortunately, the traditional German markets around us were closed. <laughs> um, but we're gonna go ahead and use sugar cubes. So you can go ahead and grab your other heat proof utensil. This one is gonna hold the sugar over our mixture. Once we're ready to go ahead and we've made sure that there's a uh, person who is not you know, been drinking or smoking weed, they have a fire extinguisher ready, we're ready to go. So we're gonna soak our sugar cubes pretty heavily with our rum mixture. And then we're gonna light this guy up. And once your rum is on fire, you wanna carefully drizzle it over the sugar cubes, which should also catch and start to burn. And once you've either run out of rum or the adults in the room have decided you've had enough, uh, you can go ahead and 
dump the sugar that's burning here into the uh, mold wine and stir it all together. So once you've gone ahead and made sure the flames are totally out and given the sugar a chance to dissolve, we can go ahead and taste this guy. We can ladle ourselves off a little bit. Ooh, it's good. It tastes like it's definitely been cooking for a lot longer than it has. The sugar is nice and caramelized and it perfectly melts with the wine and the amaretto and the spices. You get a little bit of citrus and obviously this would change depending on the spices that you put in there, but it's super balanced and it's actually a really great mulled wine. It's nicely warming. It's not too strong. Yeah, it's great. It's definitely uh, gonna be the thing that I use to keep myself warm until uh, probably New Year's. So there you go, guys. Uh, there's a traditional, classic, and very flashy way to uh, show off around the holidays. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to give us a like, comment, or subscribe below, and otherwise, uh, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.